this video will show you all the main org types and when to use each one let's dive in sandboxes are your safe testing environment Today we are covering something every salesforce professional needs to know the different types of salesforce org whether you are new to salesforce or need a quick refresher this video will show you all the main org types and when to use each one let's dive in today we'll cover all the following orgs not only what these orgs are but when and where to use these orgs so first up production org this is where your real business happens live users real data actual work getting done the most key points username must be globally unique contains real customer customer data and requests maximum uptime storage varies by license type typically 1 gb per user license with additional storage available for purchase this is your revenue generating environment where customers interact with your business any downtime directly impacts operations so robust backup and disaster recovery plans are essential and the golden rule never develop or trust directly in production always use other environments first then deployed through proper change management processes next up we have sandbox orgs sandboxes are your safe testing environment and there are four types of sandboxes you need to know first one's developer sandbox the basic development environment 200 mb storage metadata only and refreshes daily perfect for individual development work since there is no production data it's ideal for testing workflows validation rules and custom code without any risk to real information next up developer pro enhanced version of developer sandbox with 1 gb storage great for large products and multiple developers the increased storage makes it suitable for testing integrations and handling more complex development scenarios where you need sample data sets next partial copy partial copy includes sample production data and 5 gb data storage it is slightly higher than the developer pro and refreshes every fridays basically into five ideal for testing with realistic data and you can use sandbox templates to control exactly which records get copied copied and maintaining data relationships while keeping the environment manageable and finally full copy come complete production replica and same storage as production and refreshes every month and used for final staging and performance testing this gives you most realistic testing environment possible and perfect for load testing and final user acceptance before going live and next comes developer edition these are the free versions of salesforce orgs for anyone which has no expiration no credit card needed limited storage but perfect for learning trailhead and building personal projects to get these developer orgs you can sign up at developer.salesforce.com and you get 5 mb storage and 20 mb file storage and also you can create up to two custom apps with 10 custom objects these are completely separate from any company salesforce instance so you can experiment freely without affecting anything they're perfect for sales for certifications building portfolio projects and also testing app exchange packages plus you get the full access to trailhead and the developer community for learning and support and next comes scratch orgs modern development approach where temporary orgs which has 1 to 30 days expiry date created from the source code perfect for agile development cicd pipelines and team collaboration and requires salesforce dx and cli setup before creating an org for via cli these are built from scratch definition files that define exactly what feature and settings you want they're completely disposable and encouraging clean development practices since everything is defined in version control source code great for feature branch development where each each developer gets their own isolated environment and they integrate seamlessly with git workflows and automated testing pipelines making them essential for modern devops practices and next we get specialized org types so in this demo orgs partner developer trial orgs and pre release orgs these all are some created for specific purposes so let's see how these works so demo orgs are pre configured environments to showcase salesforce features comes with sample data and industry scenarios great for presentation and exploring features these are read only or limited edit environments with elastic business scenarios already set up you'll find industry specific demos for healthcare financial services manufacturing and more they never expire and are perfect for sales presentations or when you want to see how salesforce works in specific business context without spending time on setup and next comes trialogs trialogs are 30 day production level environments for production evaluation 
full feature access and can be converted to paid subscriptions perfect for testing before buying you get complete production capabilities with no limitations so you can test with real data volumes and user scenarios import your actual data and set up integrations and run pilot program with real users if you decide to purchase everything converts seamlessly to a paid or with no data loss or reconfiguration needed and next comes partner developer orgs so partner developer orgs are special orgs for salesforce partners enhanced storage and features for building app exchange packages and client solutions require partner program enrollment these comes with increased storage limits and access to managed package development and the namespace registration capabilities if you are building solutions for the app exchange marketplace these provide the tools for package development testing and distribution you also get priority support and access to partner specific resources and training and last comes pre release orgs early access to upcoming features and invitation only these are temporary environments for testing new salesforce releases and great for staying ahead of changes these give you 2 3 months early access to features before they hit the general availability you can test upcoming functionality provide feedback to salesforce product teams and prepare your organization for major release impacts it's invitation only and requires signing ndas but it's invaluable for staying competitive and planning ahead so let's do a quick recap let me summarize when to use each production org for live businesses only developer sandbox basic development developer pro larger development projects and for partial copy we always do testing with real data and for full copy is the final staging since it's a replica of production developer edition learning on personal projects as we discussed and scratch modern team development which is used for ci cd or git workflows demo is used for showcasing our features and the key takeaways so never develop in production since we already discussed the issues and choose the right sandbox based on your data and storage needs also developer edition is free it is perfect for learning and experimentation and scratch orgs are the future where we embrace the modern development practices and finally trilogs help you evaluate and test before you buy and that's your complete guide to salesforce org types which type do you use most let me know in the comments if this helped you out smash that like button and subscribe for more salesforce content thanks for watching